Drew, you killed this shit. Andrew, you killed this shit. in the building it's the four c boys in action throw them foes up throw them quads down king man what's happening with you man what's good another week another place where i'm at don't worry my gym where y'all catch up y'all understand why i'm the king (laughs) (laughs) he feeling real good about himself we'll we'll let him ride on that quavo what's happening with you man damn he left me without words right there damn Okay. okay And look, it's not about where he we at right now. It's where we gonna end at the end of the season. Okay. Hey, hey, I like, I like, I like that. I like that. I like that. Jay, will what's happening with you, Pill? What's good, man? We here another week. Let's get to this wrestling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, y'all are tuned in to another episode of In the Four Corners of Wrestling, man. The podcast made from wrestling fans for wrestling fans. And before we get started, man, please. Go on over to 613 Fade Productions on the YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification every time we drop new content. Tap in with us every Saturday where we'll be dropping them visuals for you. And you can always peep the audio wherever you get your podcast needs. And don't forget, we also got the spinoff from the podcast, The My GM, where we are doing WWE 2K24 hosted by Hollywood Mike T. Hey. We think we know about wrestling. You think you could book wrestling? Well, that's where we prove it. So tap in to that great spinoff of the podcast. It's been a great time. We've been having fun recording it, and we hope that you've been enjoying watching it. But let's hey, get back. Welcome on, welcome on. What, can I say something? Because I'm the host of the other show. Yes, sir. Okay. Quarter pound, whole pound. Oh, okay. Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey. <laughs> Hey, my team four corner for this gonna be me. <laughs> oh man, this guy here. Hey, he going off the Richter already, dog. <laughs> dog. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey, wow. hey, 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 but I love it though. Cause my man, cause my man talking about CEO business. Speaking of CEO, man, they, they, AEW got them a new CEO in the building. For those that don't know, man, Mercedes Monet, she made her way to AEW. So, I mean, one of the biggest things in wrestling that has happened in the past few weeks. So, we got to talk about it. I'm coming to you, Jay Will, man. Give us your thoughts. Give us your opinions. Mercedes Monet in AEW. She's all elite, baby. What's up? Talk to us. This is a big pickup for them. I mean, this is big. We talking about... a great timing for them as far as like getting some eyes on their content right now because they, they picked her up there we're currently in wrestlemania season they they made a good move to bring her out there now during this season because now people are going to be watch, really wanting to watch them so i can't wait to see what we're going to have with her i'm i'm excited okay okay uh talk to us quay Bo, how are you feeling about mercedes monet all elite. He's still not gonna watch any episodes. <laughs> hey, chill out, bro. He gonna catch. He gonna catch all the Instagram reels with Mercedes Mercedes Monet's on it, but he ain't gonna watch not one full episode <laughs> of Dynamite or Collision. Maybe AEW Dark Elevation. But you wild. Though. First of all, I watched Collision, and AEW Dark ain't even out out there no more. So shut that up. <laughs> Thank you, because like apparently somebody ain't watching AEW as well. Mm, hey, mm, oh, mm. how you worry? How you gonna make jokes about the other person? You ain't even watching the show that ain't even there no more. Like you, you act like we can't watch reruns on on YouTube. Get out Preach. of here with that. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> nah, Quavo, man, how you feel about it, man? Mercedes Monet, man. Hey, she, good good for you, Mercedes. Good for you. You know, that's your your return. Excited me as much as Edge returning. Damn to the stage. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Like, oh. Who 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 am I truly gonna believe that Mercedes Monet is coming after in AEW? Who? Ooh. Hmm. 
Hey, I mean, uh, do you... so hey. not Tony Storm, the best really? one in AEW. Tony? The best Tony? one in AEW. That yes, that that's the one. Okay. We got we got Dion okay. out there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying names. Names. I mean, do you? I guess. I guess. No, you got. Yeah, them. but you know, hey, your thoughts and opinion don't reflect on me. So I mean, go ahead. I mean, you you you. So so I'll say this, uh, Quavo, to your point. Add Mercedes Monet to that roster. I think that that automatically puts her at the top of that women's division. I, I, can we agree on that, fellas? Yeah. Women's division. It puts her on top a, of even the men's a, division to some degree. Yeah, standard I, assessment. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I, to Quavo's point, I mean, I love... Look, I love what Tony Storm is doing, but Tony Storm she wasn't even popping like that under Sasha Banks, right? Right, right. I mean, he got the point right there. I mean, Soraya Sor- is probably like the only thing that. Yeah, but so, that, even that, I don't want to see that, bro. I just yeah, I, but I, 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 I get what you're saying, Quavo, but I don't even want to put Soraya in this in this equation because I don't think she even matters in AEW. First of all, we ain't getting a match between Soraya and Mercedes again because the last time they was in the ring, <laughs> somebody came out hurt. That's all I gotta say. Stop, stop, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't saying. It. I, ain't saying it. I, 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 I don't think Soraya will want that match. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get... Hey, hey, <laughs> you got. <I> mean, <laughs> I, there's somebody I would like to see her wrestle with. I really, I would like to actually see her wrestle with Sky Blue. But like, other than that, like Tony is like the the first person that would <laughs> make sense. This boy just said Sky Blue. I, but I, that's because I oh. like Sky Blue. I like her as a wrestler. Sky Blue. Why is Mercedes dumbing herself down for Sky Blue? She hey, 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 listen, Blue. listen, listen, listen. It ain't even Blue. about dumbing himself down. We know that booking there is. It is. Yeah. Right. So oh. it, we may end up having it happen. Who knows? I, I I will say this. I think it brings Britt Baker back sooner than than than, than later. Like obviously, we don't know this the whole hundred percent truth of Britt Baker situation. But I think that'll that'll be a, a a good, you know, matchup with with that. So I mean, to Quavo's point, he 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 brings up some valid points. Is 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 not a needle mover to say, oh, Mercedes Monet, oh, that AEW women's division is top notch now. Like, oh, it's it's about to get flipped over. No, it's, no, it's not. It's about to say the same same level of attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Might get a we might get a good couple matches. You know that we didn't expect and we probably thought would be dream matches or some unexpected ones too. But until then, you know, it's it's a regular edge return to me. King Mel, jump in here, man, about Mercedes Monet being all elite. Shit, good move for her. Get your bag. Go get your bag. Even though you literally admitted that you hey, I still got dreams on WWE. So go <laughs> get your bag. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. And why you didn't get in your bag? If you won the champion, you better win the AEW Women's Champion. I don't want to see you with the TBS Champion. Yeah, I don't want to see you with the Arbor Waste Champion. Preach. None of that. Mm. Mm. And then on top of that, I like the fact that she came because as Jay Will said, oh, they, they did it in the middle of WrestleMania season. Well, we know Jay Will don't watch AEW. So he don't know that they have a new pay-per-view coming out April 21st. So, I mean, that's a good move if she can get into a match with Tony, Tony Storm, or Serena Deeb, or whoever they're just trying to build up so this way she can have a great match. But hey, get your money. <laughs> and I understand why you call yourself the CEO. Because if I had that money, I'd be king CEO my damn self. Yeah. Yeah. The rumors about how much how much she got. Well, I mean, but but besides besides the rumors of the, of the contract, I just think just because of what she was able to build in another company, which let's be honest, when she first came out and gave her first promo, she basically boasted and bragged about how big of a name she got at somewhere else because we know it wasn't at AEW. 
I mean, that's that's a fact. So, it, it, and to Mel's point, he he's still talking about I still got dreams and aspirations of being, <laughs> you know, <laughs> back in Connecticut, <laughs> back in New York, upstate. So it's, it's kind of like I'm just saying, yeah. I mean, she did everything. Else. She did a little stint in Japan. Cool. Ha <laughs> Kudos for that. Yeah. All yeah. right. Now, time to come back to America. Grab this bag. And then after this bag is done, WrestleMania. But you see, but but you know what? I'm not mad that Tony made the move. Because uh, I, because like, like he, I think you, you kind of have to. You, you kind you can't, you can't, you can't leave it on the table of possibly making a good chunk of money uh, or, you know, getting some viewers. And I'm not saying she's going to, like, explode that women's division. But adding her to it elevates it. Just adding her to it, it elevates it. I don't know if that elevates the other ladies. So, I mean... I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's going to elevate any other ladies. I think that she, there's a lot of people who would like to work with her simply because there's a lot that she could show them and teach them, but... But like, I don't think it's really going. I think mean, we can get some good matches out of it ultimately. Yeah, they already uh, they already kind of been speaking on her and Willow. You know, uh, they got the uh, they had a little little match oh, in Japan. Yeah, like, that would be. I mean, that's an easy that's an easy tie in for a story too. So that's, that's easy. A, let's just keep let's just keep it above. Go ahead. This ain't elevating no lady, but her. Of course. I, let's just say, I, let's just I, no call it what it is. No disagreement. This is a power move for her, and it adds more value. She won a champion over in Japan with stardom slash New Japan. She had matches. She lost to Willow. I can't believe she went to help Willow, but hey, she lost to her. But now you and AEW win a champion there. Just more, more to the resume. I'm with you. I, I don't. I don't think nobody is 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 gonna disagree with that. That helps her her bank account. I mean, the CEO <laughs> Mercedes Monet. It's all in one big package. It's about the money. It's about this being the CEO. Hey, not mad at the move. It's just that hey, got to do what you got to do. We just know because it came from her own lips. We know what's happening when that contract run out. Even if we get to the end of that contract, <laughs> yeah, that's. With, with all the internal issues that AEW has had, like I, I'm wondering if she makes it through to the end of that contract because then she got a, a three year she got a three year deal on her contract, like five five mil per year, like that's numbers, numbers. Yeah, but 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 think about it, this J will we seen we seen a big name that was that was got that blown up from WWE. Didn't last long in AEW. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't, we've seen it before. I don't know if she lasts throughout that, the, the whole into that contract. That, uh, backstage, that, backstage, that man, that should be a motherfucker. <laughs> that man. Hey, Brian Davidson, you watching the show right now. Give these two brothers a fine. <laughs> Give these two brothers a fine right now. Well, we gonna Social get media for? fine. But how we getting fine, bro? What, what, well, we, 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 don't we, be talking about AEW in a negative way. Daniel, Brian Daniels, give him a fine right now. Hey, <laughs> I'm just calling it what it is, man. I don't care if y'all right. I don't care if y'all... Brian Daniels, hand out them fines. Email, you really think she gonna be able to last the whole length of that contract before she's not going back? I plead the fifth. Brian Daniels, <laughs> hand out the fine. <laughs> See, you don't even believe that shit your damn self. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way you believe that. Come on, come, come on, man. Hey, we didn't we didn't see we didn't see other things happen, but hey. You go punch Tony Khan. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Tony. <laughs> damn it, Tony. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, come, let's just call it what it is. But uh hey, she's there, she's all elite. Hey, let's switch it up uh, real quick, fellas. Obviously, we are wrestling fans. We saw some good wrestling. So I want to start with you, Quavo. Give me a match that stood out to you across any show. He was like, damn, man. Them jokers put on the show. Talk to me. Give me a match, man. Man, I, I, 
honestly, and I'm, we, I can stick with the AEW team because they got some decent matches, and I think this week that made the top list for me was Jay White and Darby Allen. Mm. That was a fairly good match. Fairly good match. Even the aftermath after the match, entertaining. You know, the Bang Bang uh, Scissor Gang falling apart. Bullet, pl- Bullet Club Gold. You know, standing tall. You know, chaos has, not has, you know, gone all crazy. And, um, you know, I, I think match-wise, it was entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, for a Darby match, you know, and and Jay White looking visceral and you know, just methodical the way that he just took out the acclaim, took out the freaking uh badass Billy Gunn. Like he went in. I I thought all of it was just delightful to watch. Delightful to watch in AEW. You know, and, and it definitely stood out this week for me. Man, uh, and of course, like you said, the aftermath about that match, uh, Darby Allen broke the foot. Uh, man, uh, I hate to say it, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's kind of what happens when you throw your body around like the way he does. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but to your point, it, it was a fairly good match, I thought it was very entertaining as well. But I'm just like, damn, man, a, a, a Darby. Darby Allen injury. Ooh, not surprised. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just but, but see, here's the difference though. This wasn't like an injury like he did to himself. This was like a, an intentional injury. It wasn't an accidental injury. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, JY came in there to injure him. It wasn't Darby Allen just fell into a chair and broke his ankle type thing. You know what I mean? Like Quavo. Well. I ain't trying to hear none of that. I ain't trying to hear none of that. That man really be that man be putting on stunts that he knows he probably shouldn't do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it, it, matter of fact, it's more of a you're taking more bets on the fact is he going to make it out or not. That's 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 what we really take bets. What's on. what's the spread on that one, Jay? Man, right now DraftKings are saying that that man is due for something due for something bigger than that. DraftKings, DraftKings said he, DraftKings said you got this in the bag next week. Stop playing for real. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, Quavo. You know damn well this man is willing to do it on some like for the glory of wrestling. I will, I will, I will sacrifice it all. Come on, dude. Like, His commitment to make fans like entertained is cool. I get it, but that's fine. The, the, these are the fans that spell that get on the internet and spell lowercase r, uh, low, one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter. Like these niggas don't make no sense with some of the shit sometimes. <laughs> I, like, you can't, you, you, I appreciate the enthusiasm. I appreciate the ideas, but damn, dog. He got to damn kill himself for it, though. <laughs> nah, for real, right? Like, <laughs> No, yeah, no, that man, you talking about somebody need a psych evaluation? <laughs> no, he he definitely it's like okay, like, are you okay? Are are you really good? No, right. he's not okay. All right. <laughs> what you say, Mel? He ain't all right. All right. <laughs> the one thing I have to say about Darby is this dude just remind me of Bobby Hall for King of the Hill, just skinny <laughs> version for some reason. <laughs> but hey, bro. You know, he, first of all, he just be on some weirdo stuff, all right? <laughs> My man called his move the coffin drop, and would literally, I know if he could do this, and I'm sorry I'm putting this in the air, he would jump off the, the arena, the stadium, whatever you want to call it, and try to hit that move on his opponent. <laughs> just to get three people cheering. <laughs> Only three, dog. Only, cause you come on, man. Hey, man. Like the moves that he doing, he need to be in GCW. <laughs> cause that's all the crazy stuff that he. That's the fans right there. The fans that love that type of match, GCW. Oh man. Hey, Yo, <laughs> that's what he want to do. If he want to end up in the wheelchair by. 37, that, that's on him, man. I don't know. I cannot. Yo. Get your money now, pillow. <laughs> no, no, no said Darby got the bingo hall moveset. That's crazy. 
Yo, hey, yo. crazy. Hey, Jay, will that probably? Hey, I'm a, I'm gonna ask the producer to clip that. That probably was your finest hour. Right? <laughs> oh, Come in, say get the bingo crazy. hall move set. That's your finest hour, Jay. Will <laughs> we clipping that one? <laughs> uh, that was good, though. Um, man, so uh, uh Quavo throughout uh, Darby Allen, Jay White, of course. You know, we said the injury. Yeah, hey. I will say this. Thank you for just giving up. Like, I know AEW be giving up on storylines quick. I'm glad Jay gave up on the Bang Bang Scissor the game. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad y'all got rid of that. Don't that. Give up on that story? No, 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 no. I'm talking about that they they finally just broke them back up and, and, and keep them separate. I didn't like... I Man, didn't... Ray Charles could have seen that coming. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't give... Man. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, but I'm saying like when they tried to force them to be like together, I just didn't like. Nah, come on, man. <laughs> I I just didn't. No. Nah. Anyway, they thought it was uh, cool for like five episodes. <laughs> it was like, okay, we yeah. got the dudes over here with the scissors, and we got the dudes with the guns over here. We just gonna put the scissors next to the guns and bang, <laughs> bang, scissor, whatever they wanted to call themselves. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, hey, King Mill. Give- Pure wrestling, you you got that right, man. I'm uh, I, I'm talking about pure like the Colombian. It that a that, that you know, we talking about BMF. Six baby. at best. <laughs> 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 Yo, Jay, what are you doing? Hey, y'all, wild on some new new today, bro. Y'all on some other dog. What I I love it. I love it. But nah, nah. So um. Uh, Brian Danielson, Shibata, yeah, they 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 put on the clinic, man. I, I think you you think you got a great point right there, man. Um, what else did you like about that match? That was like, oh, just mind blowing right there. Just seeing the guy return, thinking he was getting the win, losing to the guy that loses every big match in AEW history. If it's a title on the line, he gonna lose. If it's ten thousand dollars on the line, he gonna lose. That's what Brian Danielson does in AEW. <laughs> so, to come back on your return, thinking you finally gonna beat the loser and the loser beat you, crazy. <laughs> you kept that pureness in oh, our wage. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> hey. <laughs> You wow, hey, but hey, but let me ask you this, man, because I've been noticing on this whole uh retirement little dream match tour that that uh Danielson been on. Obviously, I think he kind of spoke about it. He ain't been losing them. So when is the match that you think he's gonna lose? What matches you ain't see him lose? I ain't. Right. He lost to Eddie Kingston at the pay-per-view. Okay, the Eddie Kingston. That because that I think that they needed that story bigger than he there. lost to Okada in Japan. That's Japan. I'm talking about AEW though. All right. You know who he's not gonna lose to? He ain't gonna Shane lose Taylor. Him. You know who he's not gonna lose to? <laughs> I don't know any other person that ain't got no valuable name. But right now, I believe right now he's gonna lose to Willow Spray at the pay-per-view. April 21st, Sunday night. He gonna lose. I think he should. He gonna lose. Yeah. I think so, too. All right. And this retirement tour, I don't know how long. This tour longer than Kobe's tour. So I don't know <laughs> when this tour going in. He didn't announce a date like Sting. We knew his tour was coming to an end once he announced his. Daniel Bryan said, yeah, I'm going on tour, my retirement tour. And it feel like he been on a five year tour and still in retired. Oh, my man said he's tour longer than Kobe. <laughs> oh, okay. I I can't though. Yeah. Hey, Jay, will give me a match that blew your mind over the, <laughs> over any show, man. I all right, I ain't gonna lie to you. Match wise, I haven't. Been, I wasn't blown away by nothing much. I was I was actually looking forward to. The uh the tag team joints that we got happening with they uh with WWE getting ready for Mania, I've been looking forward to that. That's and but I've been more excited. I've been more interested in the stories happening right now more than anything. More than anything, okay. Yeah. Like Jimmy and Jay, mm. 
Mm, enjoyed that. I was I love that segment. Love that promo. No hey. matches though. No matches? Okay, okay. Nah, no matches right now. Hey, I feel you. But since since you spoke upon it, man, hey, we keep talking about that road to WrestleMania keeps getting built up. We finally get it. We finally get it. Jimmy and Jay, man, speak on it. Since you since you went there, talk about it. So SmackDown, we had Jimmy and uh we just had Jimmy backstage and he went ahead and said that he accepted his brother's challenge and he's gonna have a match with him at Mania. And then on, on Raw, we had a promo with Jay coming out. Man, oh man. And Jimmy out there, the two colliding. You're talking about a great moment where you saw some moments where great storytelling, great emotion from both people. And you could tell that both of them really are looking forward to having this match with one another. I'm excited about that match. Then we got some, we had some action between the two of them. Solo got involved and then Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes came out. Yeah, that was a great segment for me. I I really enjoyed that a lot. Nah, I love it. I love it. Um, anybody else want to speak on Jimmy and Jay? Yeah, I'll speak. Go um, ahead. Jay. Yeah. Matter of fact, Jimmy, please, please stop talking like you're 15 years older than Jay. Please stop talking like you. <laughs> the way Jimmy was talking in that promo, you would have thought, um, Damn, Jay was solo age, and they was the fucking twins, all right? Jimmy told him, I've been holding you down. Bro, you're probably like two minutes older than this man. I've been taking care of you. Bro, we the same age? What are you talking about? Yo. <laughs> you wasn't taking care of me. As the story told by Roman Reigns, you were sitting in the corner when I was sitting there getting beat up. <laughs> but how you taking care of me? I was getting beat up. Like, come on, Roman Reigns had to put y'all back in y'all place. Remember that? <laughs> this man talking about, yeah, I was taking care of you. Yeah, taking care of me, watching your little brother get beat up. Right. Holly was sitting in the corner. Man, I told you not. I told you leave that boy alone. <laughs> I, told, I, I told you. That's how you was taking care of him, right? Come on, this dude, Jimmy, man. But it was a great promo. It was the. It was all about the eyes. About the eyes. Yeah, I don't know what it is. These these Simone got it's, it's between Jimmy, Jimmy, Jay, crazy eyes, bro. Between Jay, Jimmy, and Solo, who about to sing the national anthem, there's something in the eyes when they cut their promos. They just be <laughs> crazy eye like. <laughs> hey man, I can't with you. I can't with you. Hey, but I say this, man. Hey, Jay, give me height when he get the when he get up on the ropes. Uh, yeah, the boy, the, what? What? Well, I can't wait to make him, bro. He gonna have that joint rocking, dog. He gonna have yeah, that buddy. Hey, hey, I, sidebar. I don't know who's gonna have who's gonna have the the, the joint rocking like crazy. Jay with the with the bounce, or or Trick Williams with the whoop that trick. I'm 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 the. It's debatable for me, bro. Who gonna have that joint rocking hard? It's debatable. It's debatable. I See, mean, two months ago, I would have said Cody Rhodes with the wall, but you know, nobody want to be a Cody fan crybaby no more. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know now. And maybe Drew McIntyre, because apparently all he got to do is just say one thing about CM Punk, and it's it's the funniest thing crazy. ever. <laughs> Not as well. Quay, but did you want to jump in here on on, on Jay and, and Jimmy? They little storyline they got going on. Oh, you didn't, get it? Uh, you didn't get it because I was trying to do it with my you eyes. Eyes. You you eyes. You tried to do it with the eyes. You know, the small eyes. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the yeet, no yeet. That's what it is. Yeet. <laughs> no yeet. <laughs> eyes. That's all it is, man. This joke is too funny, bro. Like, this is too funny. These bloodline eyes are crazy, bro. Just, ah. <laughs> and Solo over here, like, dead eyes. Just no eye movement at all, bro. Just, hey, hold up. Wait, hold up, Quavo. Give us the yeet and no yeet again. Uh, yeet. <laughs> no yeet. 
<laughs> yo, y'all bugging him. Yo, 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 watch his <laughs> eyes. You go read a lot of his eyes, bro. <laughs> y'all on it tonight, dog. Pause. Hey, <laughs> y'all bros is cooking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, but man, hey, there's some other people that's trying to get they they road to WrestleMania, man. And and Jay Will, you kind of alluded to it earlier. And we, we love some tag teams. We love some tag teams, you know. Uh, uh, Damien Priest and Finn Balor going to have to... Now, both of y'all know that's a lie. Now, hold both on. of y'all know that's a lie. That... Y'all don't love tag teams. Y'all haven't booked any tag team matches <laughs> in my GM for like four weeks. What you wait, mean? Wait, wait, Lies wait. you tell. Wait, wait, y'all wait, don't love wait, no tag teams. Now, wait, female wait, tag teams. Wait, hold now, up. Male tag teams. Wait, hold up. You, you going to call me out like that, dog? I got to. I got to. Hey, but you know what? <laughs> I, I ain't I ain't had to book no tag teams to, to you know what I'ma say that watch, for watch, watch. I'ma book a whole nah, week nah, all nah, tag nah, teams. Nah, nah. She tag she team just, made nah, nah, just cause you called me out. I'm about to book some classics tag teams. Just cause I'm gonna take that challenge. I got you. I got you, Quavo. All right, cool. Hey, hey, well, I got my just to interject real quick. Quavo, just to give y'all a little sneak peek. You've heard of none of the names that Quavo will be booking in his main events. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that you've never heard of any of the people. Neither have we. Just want to let y'all know that. And also, I want to say, quarter pound, half a pound, half a pound, hey! <laughs> hey, dog! <laughs> hey, first of all, man, my, man, y'all didn't got me jacked up. But anyway, like I was saying, there's some tag teams that's trying to get their road to WrestleMania. Finn Balor, Damian Priest, they gonna have to, <laughs> you know, hey, they gonna have to put them titles on the line. Was it six pack challenge, six pack ladder match challenge, ladder match challenge? Mm-hmm. Got to throw that in there. Um, so there's some tag teams trying to get up in that match. We had a couple of matches. DIY Creed Brothers, King Mel, talk to me. Did you enjoy that match? Second week of Raw. And they kicked off with a great opening match. Four men just, oh man, that was a great match. You got DIY. Whatever <laughs> they do. Oh, I'm, my bad. Regeneration X, my bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. Regeneration X. <laughs> they was out there going against the Regeneration Team Angle. So they was going back and forth. I Felt like I was in Ruthless Aggression era in Earth Universe 2045 watching this match, but it was entertaining. It was definitely entertaining, all right? But for that six-pack challenge ladder match, it's going to be a mystery team. I know somebody, a mystery team going to come and win the belts. I promise. Well, give me give me a guess. If give me Give me a hypothesis. Because it's going to be an educated guess. Hmm. So last week I said the Bucket Boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we saw the little tweet. This week, I believe Matt Hardy was at Monday night. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I saw Matt Hardy at Monday Night Raw. Nah, don't do that. And on top of that, it is two guys that was and about to have their contract expire and T N A. Don't do that. And you know who those guys are? They go by the acronym M C M G. Holy City Machine. Hey, come on. So hey, who you even never know? You know Triple H. WrestleMania, he know how to pull the strings, man. Okay, so let's break that down real quick. Let's break that down. On, on your hypothesis, and, and I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on it. So MCMG, I don't think that's a bad take because we saw how Triple H brought in Jordan Grace for the Royal Rumble. First off, let's clear the air. Before Jordan Grace, he actually had Alex Shelley, Alex Shelley in NXT. Yes, he had Alex Shelley in NXT. Yes. Now the question is, can he bring Chris Saban? And can they finally make it to WWE together? And on top of that, will they make it at WrestleMania? How great would that be? 
I think that'd be fine. MCMG, okay. Now, when it comes to you saw you, you said Matt Hardy. He, yeah, we we saw we saw on Twitter he was there. Here's my only thing. I think they already used up their they WrestleMania moment when they came back a few years ago in Orlando with him and Jeff. So I don't think you can recreate that joint again. Man, you could create it again. As long as Matt Hardy do this and do this and Jeff Hardy jump off of something, <laughs> people going to be excited. A lot of matches in their room, bro. That's it's, 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 CJ Will, you got a point. That's the that's the only thing that's keeping me like, uh, they might pull the trigger on that's that. That's the only look. match they don't look old in. Is Put them in a regular match, they ain't gonna look the same. Put them in a ladder match, they still look like they twenty. I don't <laughs> know why. Also, you have you have an easy way to make them look good, and they're like they don't they really won't show their age too bad in that kind of match when you got that many people involved. And they could do less is more in a ladder match. No. All right. Yeah, that that's that's also true. A ladder match in WWE. Man, I I hate I hate that y'all write on that because I don't I don't want to see it, but I, I it's like you can't rule it out. A ladder match in Hardy's, you can't rule it out. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to see them. I I don't want to see them two back. No, I'm good. I'm with you, Jay. I don't yeah, want to see you back. You but I, you when y'all hear that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> The H and the B calling the A. No. No. You hear that? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, because ah. I said it here first. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if they, them two come back, I don't want to see Jeff Hardy come out with the face paint on. Come back just regular Jeff Hardy. Just come out, do your little. Do your dumbass dance as you're working down there. No, 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 hold on. No, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. Jay, what kind of sloppy ass dance was that? Nah, right, nah, bro. Do that's, it right, like, bro. that's like when we had a uh, sting without the makeup and made him at mafia. Don't nobody want to see your face? First of face? all, <laughs> we got in we got that's introduced to Jeff without the face paint. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but, but Jeff been wearing the Jeff. face paint for like the last 20 years. It's kind of hard to not even be without the face paint. I mean, if y'all used to seeing it that way, I'm, I'm, my image of him was, nah. I would like him with the, without the face paint. Now to your last point, Mel. When you said Dully Boys, we did saw the tweet, but we also got to remember, this is XL. In what city? Philly, which has always always been a big ECW hub. Uh-huh. Fantastic who, point. Who who who's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame? Oh, hey, hey, so I can't so your last two takes as much as I don't like Hardy Boys or the Dudley Boys being in injected into this match, there's elements of it that you can't ignore that why they should also be injected into this match. Uh, at this at this point with all these elements, y'all about to induct uh y'all about to put Sabu and R V D up in this jump, bro. No, 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 no. let's stop. Quavo, let's stop. Quavo, Quavo, calm let's down. Do that. Quavo, Quavo, calm down. No, no, do that. She she don't do that. Now, now you wild and crazy. Like, no, no, no we're not really about to see straws. the Dudley boys fight. Quavo, we talking about tag teams. We talking about tag teams. R V D and Sabu was a tag team, to be fair. No, no, no. I I'm not I'm not dissing on that, but I'm talking about tag teams when it comes to like when you think of historic tag teams, Hardy Boys, Dudley Boys are synonymous, and they're synonymous with ladder matches. That's why I'm saying these pieces they make sense. Well, they're more synonymous with. I mean, tables. you ain't gonna say Motor City Machine Gun ain't one of the anonymous. I'm not saying that, teams. but this is WWE. You talking about? Come on, y'all remember TLC became another pay per view because of what Hardy's. And Dudley's were part of with Edge. Yeah. And they took six dumb people, <laughs> put a bag in there, <laughs> and said, "Yo, I'm gonna give y'all about fifteen to twenty minutes to go figure out some choreography to not kill each other. Y'all do whatever y'all want. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> All right. In their fairness, they made money. They they made the money. And oh man, did they steal the show that night? Yeah." And then you know what happened after that? They pulled the same thing what they do with Darby Allen. 
People got to get their little junkie high. So now they got to keep doing dumb stuff. I seen one time Monday Night Raw, they had a, a after just being in a cage match at a pay-per-view before, they had a random ladder match. <laughs> just, you was just in a cage, taped up ribs and everything. Put him in a ladder match. <laughs> like, hey, dog. <laughs> we should just die 12 hours ago. <laughs> now I gotta go climb a ladder and die again. Hey, so, 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 so let me ask y'all this. What do y'all think about awesome truth in this situation? I mean, they, they, they do what they think. A, a little, little, you know, a little flash from the uh, notoriety back Man, in the. Don't, don't be surprised if our truth unexpectedly goes up that ladder and wins the match. Okay. And he said he won the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a win's a win, truth. A win's a win, bro. I mean, on Raw, you saw them kind of get away with that win, and again, you have a story already with our truth, with with truth and uh, in uh, Judgment Day. So you got, I mean, you got possibility there with that, as far as the story is concerned. So I don't see why, I don't see why not. Can I say this one thing? Go sure. ahead. What if Awesome Truth went to the match, but the other team wins as well? Somebody pulled down the red belt, and somebody pulled down the blue belt, and we finally get the belts to be split. Oh. See, why you got to do that, man? There, there you go. That's, I, like, that's, I like that idea. That's, that's a some interesting book. I got a got bit. Yeah. Really? That, that's hey, a, look, you know how that's, long that's, that's, a, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the smartest part? way to separate them titles. It's time. It's time. Well, yeah. speak, on, speak on, speak on, Quavo. You, you say it's time to split them. It's time, man. It's it's time. It's like y'all got all these tag teams in both brands, and you obviously have enough because you're doing a six pack challenge. That means we've seen twelve different matches, and it's just like, bro, all these all these tag teams, and how do you keep them relevant? You got to have some gold on them. Mm. You got to look good. But it's just a giant mass of tag teams that it, they get lost in the shuffle, and it's like whoever has a good storyline or can be relevant are the ones we actually care about, the ones we actually think about. And the ones that have the belts right now, Judgment Day. Who had it before them? Usos. Who had it before them? I don't know. But those are the two that I remember right now. Yeah, Sammy so, and Kev, Kevin had it for me. Oh, yeah, break, Sammy and KO. Let me and just break up this tag team, team since last year's WrestleMania. But then even, but then even before then, you had, uh, what was it, Randy Orton and... And, and the bro. Yeah. yeah. So let me break this tag team up, the champions, since last year's WrestleMania to now. It was the Usos. It was Sammy Zayn and KO. It was Judgment Day. Don't forget, it was Cody Rose and Jey Uso. For mm -hmm. like five minutes, they had it for a cup of coffee, and then it went back to the Judgment Day. Now, to be fair, Judgment Day is doing a great job with these tag team titles. Yeah. I will give them that. They are competing on both shows. That's fair. Defending their belts. I didn't think they was gonna have it for this long, but they are doing a great job. They even got Finn Balor dressing like LL Cool J in the early nineties. All right, so they doing a great job. Fantastic work. But let's split them up. It's time to split them up. There's other guys on SmackDown that could be good with the belts. It's yeah. a team on Raw yeah. that can use the belts too. And you know what happened with Judgment Day? Priest cash in on Drew McIntyre. And we got Priest, the head of the Judgment Day. All rise. Okay. Okay. I, I can tell y'all who's not going to get no tag team titles no time soon. Street Profits. Man, don't do that. Damn. Them niggas ain't getting them niggas ain't touch them niggas ain't sniffing them belts no time Stop soon. That. <laughs> yeah, anybody had that other bingo oh, card? But but yeah. Jay Will, if to, to everybody's point, if you split the tag team belts up, that puts that puts Street Profits back in a chance to be where where we where we saw them. When they when when they made that leap from being tag team champions in NXT and then they won the championship and we we're like yo one of the dopest tag teams they was having great matches with New Day Usos and all them we're like yeah I love Street Profits they got the cups but I think if you if you split the tag team belts it, 
it 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 can help put put them back where we where we love the street pops. Like, yeah, man, they legit, and you know they they doing the whole you know Bobby Lashley thing and shit. And so come, they got to start making it pop somehow. They got to start making that joint pop somehow. So I think that helps. Got you. So tell them stop being around Bobby Lashley and this carrying cross feud. Yeah. Ain't yeah, nobody, they, ain't yeah. nobody checking for this feud. Yeah. Nobody's checking for Bobby yeah. Lashley and the Street Profits together as a group. That nobody, nobody was checking for that dumbass deprived shit. I, I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear that. Cause first week, folks was like, "Oh my God, her business three point forty five. They was beasting for that. <laughs> oh my God, they in suits. Oh my God, Dawkins looks so clean. And look at Montez. He's about to be a star. You know he's gonna go on to be the Intercontinental Champion. You know he's gonna be wrestling. And then five weeks later." Oh my god, this is boring. This is boring. <laughs> oh my god, why they got them together? Ooh, this is bad for Bobby Lashley. And why they put him with Karrion Cross? Oh my god. And that Final Testament shit dumb too. I just gotta go ahead and say that too. It's not dumb. That's the I'm I'm rocking with that group. They, they got I, I will shirt. say this as trios go, they're not too bad. As look, trios go, they're not I'm too gonna tell you right now. Trios is the AEW thing. Let's not do that. And look, and, <laughs> yeah, but the Legato de Fantasma, LWO, AOP, and Fake Me Out Hurt Business. That's four trios I'm leaving right there. LWO still tell me WWE don't yeah. got trios. The LWO still a thing? Oh, Real Stereo yeah. back. Boy, <laughs> oh, man. Man, I've been like missing. I said, Final <laughs> Testament to me is not bad if y'all right. take the mic away from carrying Cross. Shut up. Well, well, he, okay. Here's my only beef about Final Testament is Paul Ellery. I didn't, I didn't understand adding him to it. What you mean? He was with AOP. I get that, but then AOP, they still was, they was without him for a minute. Yeah, and you know what happened? They won the champions. They got injured. They became with Seth Rollins. They got injured. They was about to return. They got fired. They tried to start their own wrestling promotion. They didn't happen. Then they came back to WWE, and where did they bring them? You had, had to bring Paul Ellery back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what I'm saying it's almost been almost like right, four or five years since the last time we see Paul Ellery with AOP. I don't know, man. I, AOP I just... apparently needed them because that was the yes. only time they were shining. Okay, but hold up, but, 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 but what I'm saying is, is do you need him as a manager when you got Scarlett, who's already a manager yes. now? Yeah, really? you need two managers. She okay, first much. off, first off, I'm not knowing if you paying attention or not. Scarlett thinks she's a wrestler. I ain't never seen a wrestler. She want to step in the ring and be a wrestler. Cool. She's trying to have the little Lana effect going. All right, cool. Let's nick that in the butt. So now you got Paul Aaron, right? Paul, he's been with the Road Warriors, so he knows that. how he Good knows point. how to manage. Good point. I feel I rock with you on that. So he know how to manage, and this is why I say. He needs to take the mic from from Carrie and Cross. Tell him go back to ball. We all gonna be a ball group in here, but Scarlet, and then we'll look like a real faction. But hey, <laughs> that's just my idea. No, I, I'm not mad at you on the part entering tip because we know about his managerial skills when it comes to tactics. I'm not mad at that. I'm just saying with him and Scarlet at the same time, what are we doing? I don't need two managers. Like, didn't who, for what? Like, so. To your point, if you're going to have Scarlett do the line of effect where she's like slash manager, but, you know, doing some in-ring stuff, then by all means, then we better see more of her in the ring. Please hey, don't. Please well, don't. what I'm saying, we, 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 I, got, I got what you're saying, Ma. I get it. Yeah. But right now, you know, she ain't no different than Maxine Dupree. Ooh. She's just, okay. She's just entertainment value at this point. Now, maybe two to three years when she hones her craft, maybe on them road shows and everything else, and then she could finally put together some stuff. I'll be with her. I'm just trying to figure out. (laughs) I'm just trying to figure out how she's been around this long and he never (laughs) figured out how to impress her. (laughs) Hey, don't say that now. She's not the first. (laughs) She's not the first. She's not going to be the last. Okay. I'm just saying, man. WWE got a performance center. I hope she's using it. Hmm. I hope she's using it while she's there. Damn. Okay. 
Dusty Rose, this is why I wish you was alive, because you can help carry a cross cut a good mm, 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 mm. Oh, you can ooh. bring some fat. It's something that makes him pop, and everybody love him again. Ooh, let's not Adam do that. Cole destroyed that man's career. Ooh, let's not do that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> speaking of speaking of promos, um, we had some good segments. Um, as everybody is trying to get their low road to WrestleMania going, uh, you know there was a a, a Sammy and Gunther segment. Um. Quavo, man, I know you enjoyed that segment, man. Enjoyed it. Come on, man. Come on, man. You, you, you cold, bro. <laughs> you cold, bro. You gonna set me up like that? Like I, like I enjoyed this promo. Like I enjoyed Sammy Zane trying to be tough around Gunther when Gunther's laughing at him. Like, bro. You you not even the match we were supposed to get. It should have been Chad Gable look on his face. Come on now. Even even Sammy, I don't even think he believed it because he was like, "Look at my eyes, look at my eyes." And I feel like in the corner of my eyes, it was shush, please, right there, bro, <laughs> just standing right there. I'm just telling you, man. Like, Sammy, you made some good points. You have broken some records. I ain't gonna lie, and some. And one of these records, I can't even keep remembering because you keep saying that you stopped the unstoppable, undisputed tag team champions that you did at WrestleMania with KO. I keep forgetting about it because I, I don't know why. But at, at the end of the day, we gonna forget this match too because it don't it don't mean that much to me. It don't mean that much to me to see you go up against Guta when in reality it should be Chad Gable. Hmm. It should be Chad. I still got a feeling Chad's going to somehow be in this match somehow. I'm still, I got hope for it anyway. Uh, it, Jay Will, how'd you, how'd you enjoy that Memphis sing-along, man? With, with the great one. It's great. It's great. I just, I do wish that Rock had the guitar for himself to play. I do wish that when he, when he did that in Sacramento, classic moments, classic moments. Loved it. It was a great callback to see that. Especially now we got Rock coming out with the old heel music that he had. Question. Yep. Was that on Friday that he did that in Sacramento? That was, ooh. Was that was on that? Friday when he did the song? That was Sacramento. I thought that was, it might, was that wrong? No, because to me, he said out loud and clear, this is Memphis, Tennessee, where he started at. But hey, that's just me poking fun at Jay Will. Thank you. <laughs> It was, I like the moment. It's so bad. I'm moving on. <laughs> He's so petty, man. He is. He really is. Hey, yo, that was so petty, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, hey, Jay Will, you called a stray. So did John Morant. John Morant called a stray in this. Oh, game. big time. Bro. <laughs> big time. <laughs> Um, quite a few people caught strays during that whole during that whole segment. Hey, but 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 big ups to you for pointing out um because uh uh when we had Mike T on a couple of weeks ago in King Mail, they've been pointing out the details of how Rock has been slowly getting into his hero character. They changed up the eyes on the Brahma Bull, and then they changed up the interest. And like you said, Jay Will, I'm glad they went back to the boom. Like that hill Hollywood rock theme music, that shit was banging. I'm yeah. glad. It. So it's like they building it up. Now, one of his opponents, Cody, had a little run in with Paul Heyman, man. Quavo, man, talk about it, dog. Well, thank goodness we're over and done with that uh, appearance of Black Adam on SmackDown. <laughs> Good Lord. Wait so, a minute. Bruh, look, I know, I know the rock has seen Step Brothers. You have to have seen it. You and you in Hollywood, you have to have seen that movie, bro. Okay. If you're gonna do karaoke or if you're gonna be making up songs, at, at least work on the pitch, bro. At least work on the pitch. That it was it was sounding corny and like, bro, you need to practice, man. Damn. You got to practice, man. Okay, Simon Cow, relax over there. Right. Uh, damn. Okay, y'all don't know about <laughs> tonality, but neither does Rock, so hey, it passes. It's okay. Hey, give Rock his credit. He 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 killed that Johnny Moana. Quit playing with him. <laughs> hey, he's good with shorts. We know someone else who is it. Hold on, where is he today? 
But anyway, I'm paying for that. Hey, man, come on, stop. Yeah. Look, Cody, you did your thing, bro. You did your thing. He pulled out some guns. He said, you know what? I'm going to talk about your mama. Mm. Oh, he called out Rock's mama. Mm. Oh, damn. Mm. And did it politely, like respectfully. I'm going to talk about your mom. But res- uh, disrespectfully, you a little bitch. Like, what? Oh, okay, Cody. This is the kind of energy we needed earlier. This is the kind of energy we needed before you became a crying meme, okay? It's- <laughs> earlier. Get with it, Cody. Step it up a little more. A little more. Because you- it's-, it's-, it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm still not believing it because it feels like 2023 still. But you're going to have to turn it up a little bit, man. Turn it up mm. a little bit. What you're doing is exactly what you need to do. You're heading into the right direction, Quavo? You're in the right... Yeah, you're facing the right way. Okay. Just do the hot route. Do the hot route. Like like Jimmy told hot Travel route. Chief. Hot, hot route. route. Okay, call that audible. Do what you got to do. Because mm. the LDS on uh, uh, Lil Dick Wayne... The pause. Okay? Yeah. Cody did it. He said it. Wasn't me. Okay? I kind of just didn't say it, but still. Look, he the one who said it. He the one who said it, okay? Mm. Called out Dwayne. He said, LDS. And you know what, Cody? Go in. Be it. Call him the asshole. Do whatever you need to do to murk him in his face verbally and set this joke up. Make me engaged and intrigued the night one of WrestleMania. Because it looks good, Cody. Doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, say it with your chest, Cody, man. Say it with your chest. All right, man. <laughs> hey, Mar. Well, I Go got ahead. to see about like night one of Mania. I don't know if they ain't going to have any other matches. Because the budget between Cody and Rock, when these two come out, it's gonna be insane. You got Roman Reigns with a forty-minute intro, and then Seth Rollins about to have the crowd sing. Man, y'all might as well just call WrestleMania Night One the match, and then go on about your day and put everything on Night Two. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, man. Hey yo, I'm telling you, you gonna have Cody all the fan. Whoa, all the pyro about to go. Well, you know that's thirty thousand dollars right there. Hey, Rock that over there, budget is something else. Putting bro. all that Black Adam money. To good use apparently when since he came back in the WWE. So that's his, about to be his intro. Roman Reigns and he about to have the people play the piano. No, the violin this time for his song. And that's only for night one. We ain't even talk about night two. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then hey. Smith Rollins about to have a whole bunch of people from everywhere around the world dress up like him. Uh-huh. Either one person gonna have one of them red boots, or somebody gonna have an outfit that we seen him wear on Raw, and they all gonna be lined up while he come out. Hey, hey, Seth gonna have the that. Mississippi Mass Choir, bro. They bro. singing. <laughs> they about to have so much stuff happening. Hey, they they budget about to be stupid big. <laughs> I see why they call him in WrestleMania. Excel. Yeah, we I see why, big. cause <laughs> but nah, this Rock and Cody stuff, it was entertaining. People buying it, and don't forget Cody Rhodes. I think he's. I think I believe he said he's about time. He'll turn into Homelander. Now, if anybody knows where that comes from, that used to be the name when he was the face of AEW. People always kept calling him Homelander every time he came out. So for him to say that, it's about to. It's about to happen. Mm. Homelander versus Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. Well, we gonna we gonna shut shut down shop right there, man. It's been a great time tonight. Our fellas been on one. Our producers been jumping in, acting a fool with himself. Man, it's been a great show. But please make sure y'all go on over to Six Thirteen Fate Productions, the YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe. And enjoy all the content that we have on the 613 YouTube channel. Uh, please check it out. Check us out Saturdays uh, the in the front of corners of wrestling, as well as the Man Cave Sports Podcast, where we also be dropping some bets on there. Tap in with betterlytics.com. Put the advantage in your pocket and get the advantage over the sports books. Put some money in your pockets. You dig? And of course, Sundays. Q 
King Mel with the top five moments of wrestling. And then don't forget, on Mondays, my GM, WWE 2K24, the fellas, we out there trying to book on wrestling shows, hosted by the one and only Hollywood Mike T. And, you, hey, I'm telling you, you enjoy every last piece of content going over to the YouTube channel. And, of course, you can get the audio wherever you get your podcast needs. King Mel, drop them socials where the people can find you, my dog. My new Twitter name is the number one, <clears throat> at number one GM <laughs> on WWE 2K24. You can find me on IG as in I'm beating these old geezers down on my IG, on my GM. And on Facebook, Jamal Scroggins. Thank you. Hey, man. Hey, you, see, see, you young little whippersnappers be talking so much. You better win this shit because you talking mad, cold, cash shit like a mug, right? You better win it. Quite hey, well. <laughs> um, somebody that's losing to me said what? <laughs> Wait, bro, man, drop the socials, dog. <laughs> Jose uh, Quavo 8 on all platforms. Damn, Damn man. Damn. I know, right? I know, right? He feeling, re- he feeling real greasy. It's okay. We'll let him ride. Hey, it's still early in the game, but he, he it's all right. He'll, he'll recognize that it's a, it, it's a marathon and not a sprint. It's not a sprint, grasshopper. It's okay. Jay Will, drop the socials, man. You can find me on Facebook in the Four Corners of Wrestling Group as J Will with one L, and you can find me on X four uh, CB underscore J Will with one L. And I also just made a new account called Quavo Went Broke in my GM. Y'all should follow that account. It's going real good right about now. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, why you shoot a straight at Quavo? He ain't earned that, dog. <laughs> Hey man, y'all. All that money he had to try something, bro. Golly. Golly. <laughs> hey man, y'all know where to find me, man. Go on over to Twitter, man. KC Wildcard Mar. If you can't find me there, I'll be Sports Network. And you definitely will find me right here on 613 Fate Productions on all the content you can check out. Hey man, it's been real. We out of here. Another episode of In the Four Corners of Wrestling, the podcast made from wrestling fans for wrestling fans. We throwing them fours up, throwing them quads down. And don't forget, hey, leave this ish to the professionals, man. Don't try this shit at home. We out. Yeah.